Are you ready for this, Ann? Make peace with God. <laughs> this is Bill. Hello. This is Ann. Hi. Jayo. This is Ken. Oh, that, that's good now. Thank you. I, what's going on? Have you helped open the door? My hotel's over there. Ken's place is here. This is like a, a, a missionary retreat, which is kind of cool. And uh, they live here. And they have some tandems. So we're going to do a little bit of a tandem. Uh, a tandem ride guided by Ken here. He's going to show mm -hmm. us around. Show you the wonderful the town of Huntrin. <laughs> now you have to remember this has a wider turning radius than a regular bike. That, they're doing real good. I need to put a little bit more air in the tires. This is Judy. <laughs> you have three tandems. I saw the yellow three, one. Yeah, the yellow one is the travel one. It breaks apart. That's oh, one okay, breaks. okay, okay. What got you into tandems? I mean, what was it about tandems that you really liked? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> you needed somebody to drive you around. No, he he's like three times stronger than me. Okay. A bicycle, and he he wouldn't leave me behind. So he constantly looking, yeah, yeah, yeah. paying attention, make sure I'm okay. But on a tandem, he doesn't yeah, have to. Yeah. And we always go somewhere together. Right. You don't have to worry about. It's very sweet. It's... Hey, that's not so bad, huh? Not bad, not bad at all. Have you tried set, stopping? <laughs> As long as you keep going, <laughs> never stop. You're fine. <laughs> no problem. That's scary. All right. What's it like first time on a tandem? Horrifying. So today is going to be a exploration of Hang Chun Cycle Ride. There's some interesting things here. Ken gave me a little preview yesterday. I could fly the drone too. The weather's going to be good. It'll be good. It'll be a good day. For a change. For a change. For yeah. staying weeks. I was getting tired of all this rain. All right, so Hangchun is uh, north of Kenting. How far north of Kenting are we? About 50 kilometers or like 20 kilometers? 15 or 50? 50? 15. One five. 15. Yeah. So really close to Kenting. I'm going to keep this ride a little bit slower. Because no, no. I'm just gonna be coming up and around and down. Yeah. How's it going? Great. Awesome. <laughs> I'll be your cinematographer for today. Just bouncing up and down between the two two bikes. If you want to I don't know if you can see it guys, but there's some uh, fighter jets up here doing some maneuvers. It's kind of neat. I'm used to being the craziest guy on wheels. <laughs> now I've got to share it. I've got to share the moniker. And before you guys start bitching at me, I know I don't have my flags. I forgot my flags at the hotel. We're visible as a team, all, all three of us, so we're all right. When I ride alone, it's important I have my flags. Okay. What's the Chinese name? Hai Jiao Qi That? Yeah. It was filmed in this area. This is the house that the postal yeah. guy lived in, one of the main char characters in the movie. Oh, okay. The boy, the boy and so, lived on, young man lived on the upstairs. You guys want some betel nut? <laughs> some pin liang? It's really good. You don't need lipstick, you just eat the be betel nut. So this is part of the old wall, and this is the west gate to the town, the old, the old town. So today hopefully we'll be able to ride around all four gates to the city. 
So this, we're on the outside of the gate right now. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're inside. We're inside the... Yeah, this is the old town over here. Okay, okay. Yeah. Ken is our resident Hengchun historian. He's gone to uh, <laughs> university for many years to learn all the ins and outs of Hengchun. Yeah. Culinary Institute of America was great for learning. Yeah, yeah, taught it. They had a whole Hengchun section <laughs> right next to broiling and sa sauteing. It's interesting how these tunnels are sort of an, a rarity now, but they used to be the only thing that could protect you, you know, from marauders when you, uh, when you were here many, many years ago. So if your city was big enough, you would almost always need one of these walls to protect you. do I have the chance to <clears throat> really focus on recording somebody else riding around. It's actually kind of fun. This video is going to be a pain in the butt to edit though. I'm going to have a ton of like riding video. Phil was a Navy pilot. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and he was saying that when he when he was looking because those those fighters, the F-16s. Yeah, they look like a fish. Yeah. yeah. They were actually coming through and then kind of tipping over. And what was that? They're tipping over to look at how they did with the bombs. So they they'd be looking out the window to be like, did I hit the target? Right. Exactly. Interesting. Exactly. Interesting. So they're practicing. In ancient times, they had those tanks that would guard the wall. That tank is about 2,000 years old. It's pretty incredible. Ken was telling me that, that because of all the, the typhoon rain and everything that's come through, that the availability and the prices of the produce is has shot up. It's suffered, yeah. It's suffered. Normally this, this wet market is hustling and bustling and, and possibly because of the rain it's a little possibly. bit like possibly. So Ken, resident uh, Hong Chunian, what is uh what is this? That is a pavilion where the locals have a contest every year to climb the greased poles. And we just missed it. It, it. it occurred about a week ago. It's on the, if I remember correctly, it's on the 15th day of the ghost month. But they have different teams that compete to climb up these poles that are greased. Yuck. Gross. So I'm at the top of the uh, climbing pavilion. I don't know how high I am. I'm a good uh, 20, 30 meters up. Great view though. Here you can see the wall that kind of curves around and then it goes off around the city. So every team is about 12 to 15 people, and as a team, does everybody have to get out on the top, or is just one guy has to reach the top? No worries, no worries. Ken's doing some Wikipedia research. I think the first, it's the first person, guy. and there's one hatch at the top of every pole. So as soon as I think one guy gets to the top by teamwork, then, huh? Whoever gets the flag. So there must be a flag. I bet it's up here on this bamboo pole here. Yeah, yeah, maybe there's a there's a flag or something attached and then once they get that they win But yeah, you can see there's a hatch at the top of every single pole stanchion except for this one This one doesn't have but this one's probably not a climbing pole. I'd ask if you're afraid of heights But are you you were a pilot you worked on a, a helicopters, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> you're like yeah, right. I'm getting out of here <laughs> All 
I wonder whose job it is to grease up all these poles. Ugh, what a job that is. You can see the handprints on, on the poles where they're just slopping on all of the, all of the grease. <laughs> Not fun. And check this out. This is the bamboo that's at the top. This is an actual one piece of bamboo. It goes all the way through to the top. That's where the, where I think the flag must sit. I wonder how old this tradition is. I bet, I bet the tradition is probably wrapped around maybe that, that piece of bamboo. Maybe way back in the day, they used to have the tallest bamboo rod in the, in the city. And everybody used to try to get to the top of it. You didn't see it, but we just traded, traded beer. What did you think of riding the trike? Good? <laughs> You're sold? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Chayo just sold a trike. Ken's not a, not a, not, I haven't sold him. I haven't sold him. That is an odd place to sell like jackhammers and machines. In America, you got Home Depot. Here, you got a street corner. Yes. Almost done with our all-encompassing ride of Hengchun. Nice little city, cool people, a little eclectic, some culture, and some decent bars, it looks like. You want to go out at night. Next time on the Jayo Vlog. These were what I pulled off the trike. This metal was totally scraping off. Animal forbid. To eat or to bring. So the wall just circulates the whole city. Somebody's so those rings out there, that's what they do target practice on. It's not an abandoned nuclear power plant.